what's happening in the garden. Rod and Sharon are here. Uh, with temperatures uh, getting in the 40s overnight, we better start wrapping things up. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. We've got some uh, potential for frost, not probably here, but well west of us in the days ahead. But in the meantime, a beautiful day. You know, you hear a lot of negative things about tobacco. Of course, all of them uh, very much true. One thing you don't hear about tobacco is how pretty it can be. This is flowering tobacco. Yes, it is. This is one of the garden annuals, and they've been bred over the years to be shorter and more floriferous. That means more flowers. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad um, you translated. <laughs> this is one of the kind of older varieties. This is a species type, and they've made a cultivar out of it called Only the Lonely. Mm -hmm. And it does grow about this tall, How which cool is, is very that? tall for the flowering tobaccos. But the fragrance very is what nice. it's grown for. You would think, you know, tobacco, you think it was going to smell like tobacco. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. It it's very, very perfumey. Yeah. And the ones that have been bred to be smaller and have more flowers don't have much scent. They've okay. kind of sacrificed that for the more flowers part. Right. But that's and one that's still blooming like in our garden. It's an annual. Okay, and it's like done. a third cousin to the one we yes, dry and right, smoke. Yes, right, right, right. Okay. Same right. genus. Cool. But these are fall flowers. This one has started a few weeks ago. This one's called obedient plant. Obedient plant? And it's kind of fun because the reason they call it obedient plant, it does not grow where you want it to. So oh. that's not the reason. Because right. <laughs> it'll grow yeah. all over the place and it can become very aggressive. Right. So be aware of that. But what happens is you can take the flowers and move them around the stem and they oh, will stay yeah. where you put them. Ah. Why it evolved to have that's this tendency, bizarre. I yeah, don't like, what know. What benefit would that be to the I plant? Know. Isn't but that that's kind of neat, huh? But they really are very pretty, but they can become very aggressive, so I'm not recommending planting them unless you're going to really watch the, the clump. So if you really like cold. weeding or thinning, yeah. you know, then go ahead. Right. Yeah. This is a pretty. <laughs> then this is our New England aster, and it's just getting started, so we're going to start seeing these purple flowers mm -hmm. all over the place. They grow all over the roadsides. They grow in fields. They grow in many places in your garden. Once you plant them, these create lots of seeds, and the seeds go all over. Excellent. They're easy to pull out. You kind of decide where else you want them. And another trick with them is that you have to cut them down about the beginning of July, the end of June, kind of to get them kind off. of bushy. Right. Okay. So you'll cut them down to just about a foot tall, maybe. So otherwise they grow up, not really out. Really tall, and then they get real floppy. Oh, okay. So this is a nice clump. It's going to, this whole thing is going to look very nice. Very nice. And Some then, more fall color out here. And another one of our, our fall beauties mm -hmm. are the ornamental grasses. And what? there are many, many ornamental grasses out there. Mm -hmm. The one with the kind of looser flower heads here is called frost grass. Frost grass. And I've never grown it before and I'm really enthralled with it. I think it's very pretty. Uh -huh. It has a very different kind of texture of the leaves right. and then that flower is very appealing. And the flower very is on nice. the ornamental stay all winter long so you can enjoy them. There you go. So it's like an all season plant. It is. Excellent. Uh -huh. Well we'll be back out here in the garden talking more about some flowers and things you can do in this uh, late part of the garden right. season in just a bit. Let's go back inside for now. All right. Thanks Rob. Seven